this week, a California Highway Patrol rescued an injured hiker from a mountain near Napa. The hiker was able to use his smartphone's GPS to let rescuers know his location. But a new service is trying to make it even easier to be located in the event of an emergency. Charlie Daggett has the story. Three little words may have saved the life of Teresa App's husband. All of a sudden, he became unwell and laid down, and there was no getting him up and realized that I needed to call an ambulance. The Austin, Texas native and her husband had just gone for a stroll on this English beach when he collapsed. But when she called the ambulance, there was a problem. As I was talking to the dispatcher, she, I said, we're on the beach in Eastbourne and we're kind of across from the Grand Hotel and the West Lawns and, and on the beach. And, and she said, what town are you in? Wow. And I realized she wasn't in Eastbourne. Yeah. And so I said, right, I've got the What Three Words app. What Three Words, an app that pinpoints a location anywhere on the planet within a 10-foot square by assigning it with a unique three-word designation. Teresa's husband fell ill right here. But how do you describe what right here means? She used these three words, supper, switch, sheep. The London-based startup is the brainchild of British entrepreneur Chris Sheldrick. We kind of had this idea that if you divide the world into three meter by three meter squares, you've got enough combinations of three words that you can name each three meter square in the world with just a unique sequence of three words. The rest was a straightforward math problem. Simply divide the world into 57 trillion squares using 40,000 words. With no masks or social distancing, you may have guessed by now, we started this story in the pre-pandemic days. So let's start by trying the app here. And what have we got? Normal chat cans. Pretty recognizable address. But now let's try something a little more remote, like say the middle of the mountains of northern Iraq. Yep, there it is. Mention, siblings, steeple. Now for the real test. What about the battlefields of northeast Syria? Yep, there it is. Although I probably shouldn't give out this location. And back in London, they clocked exactly where I was. Okay, yes. So it's mention, siblings, steeple. Yep. Are you sure? Yes, why? Okay, uh, then... So it looks like you were in northern Iraq. <laughs> Why did you ask me if I was sure? Uh, because I didn't know if you'd been in northern Iraq. Were you in northern Iraq? Yeah, I'm a war zone correspondent. There you go. The app is free for individual users and emergency services here and around the globe, including the U.S. However, some critics argue that a system increasingly relied on by the public shouldn't be in the hands of a private company. This is a proprietary... Uh, system, one that is owned and run by a company, and we never know what might happen in the future when we have those kinds of systems. As far as the aptly named Teresa app is concerned, this app is a lifesaver. You might not ever need it, and hopefully you never will. But if you do, remember that it's there, and, and it's just brilliant. Three words, happily ever after. For CBS This Morning, Saturday, Charlie Daggett, Eastbourne, England. That is so sweet. Perfect ending. I, I have another three words. War zone correspondent. correspondent. That's right. Drop the mic. You know he'd been at this a while because of the various haircuts. Of Charlie. <laughs> By the way, I, I downloaded the app and I figured out where we are. Right. Listen to this. These are the three words to describe like that corner of the studio. Right. Bands. Oh my gosh. Juices. Proven. Wow. Hello. That's where we do I mean, dishes and introduce and sessions. Music. There and we prove things and by cocktails. Cocktails. Like cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> well, cocktails. Words. Very nice. <laughs> Very well. Nicely done, Ed O'Keefe.